Unreal Engine is easily the best and most versatile game engine out there right now. If you're not already using it, you should be, and luckily for you, I'm here to help you get started. I'm going to show you what you need to do to get Unreal Engine installed on your own personal computer for free right now. Okay, first of all, you'll want to make sure you have your web browser open and either search for download Unreal Engine, or you can simply click on the link I've put in the video description just below that like button. That'll bring you to this page here, where you'll just need to scroll down a little to the Open the Epic Games Launcher section. If you already have the Epic Games Launcher, then you've already completed this step, but if not, then click on the Download Launcher button. The installer begins to download. I'll just click on the Keep button, and once it's finished I can click on it to open it up like so. Now the installer will open, which looks like this. I'm happy to install to the default location, so I can just click on the Install button. Once it's done, the Epic Games Launcher will open automatically and check for and install any updates. Once the updates are complete, the launcher will finally open and you'll be asked to sign in. If you don't already have an Epic Games account, then there's a link to create one at the bottom of the page here, or you can sign in using your Facebook, Google, or any of the accounts that are listed here. But I already have an account, so I'll click on sign in with Epic Games like this. Then you'll just need to pop your username and password in, and click on login now. Epic are pretty big on two-factor authentication now, so in my case they sent a text to me with a security code to enter to verify my identity. So I'll just put that in and click continue. And now you'll be logged into the launcher. You might get some notifications telling you about this week's free games or what's happening in Fortnite, but what we're really interested in is getting Unreal Engine installed. Over on the left of the launcher here, there is a link for Unreal Engine, so I'll give that a cheeky little click. Here's the Unreal Engine page in all its resplendent glory. There's also a big yellow button in the top right corner which will let us install the engine, but I like to do it a different way to make sure I can install the exact version of the engine that I'm looking for. So, I'll click over here to be taken to the Library tab, and this usually shows the versions of Unreal Engine that you currently have installed, as well as any projects that you've been working on. As I'm setting up a new PC here, these sections are both blank for me. So, to get Unreal installed, you'll need to click on this yellow plus button next to the engine versions. By default, it's ready to install 5.1 for me, but if I click this little drop down here, I can choose to install any version of Unreal Engine all the way back to 4.02. I'm here for the latest version though, so I will leave it set to 5.1. Now you can click on install, and you'll be given the chance to choose where to install the engine to. I'm actually putting my installation on a different drive because it's like a 20 gig install and I'm already running low on space. Once you're happy with the install location, click on install and then go and make yourself a cuppa. This will probably take a while. It took about 1 hour and 45 minutes to download and install for me. Once it's complete, you'll be able to click on the launch button to open Unreal Engine. You may now have to install some other files which Unreal Engine refers to as prerequisites. In my case, I needed to install the Microsoft.NET framework. Just choose to download and install, and this will happen in the background as Unreal Engine continues to load up. And after waiting a little time for Unreal Engine to do its thing, you'll be greeted with this screen, which will allow you to create a new project or open a recent one. And that, my little friends, is all there is to it. You're now ready to create whatever games, or live film and video events, or architectural rendering, or product design and manufacturing showcase or simulation that your heart desires. I hope you found this guide helpful, and if you did, I would appreciate it if you could hit the like button. My ego really needs it. I'd also like to know, now that you have Unreal Engine, what are you planning to use it for? Are you making the game you've always wanted to? Or are you creating some live film and video effects? Or maybe you're wanting to design your dream house? Let me know in the comments below. If you're new here, I'm Shane, and this is Game Dev Academy, a YouTube channel dedicated to giving you the skills and knowledge you need to create your own games from scratch. If that sounds like a mission you can get behind, then why not subscribe to make sure you're notified of all my future videos and tutorials. If you're wondering what to do now you have Unreal Engine installed, I have a fantastic tutorial series which will show you everything you need to know to create your own character and set it up in your own game. Check it out via the link on screen or in the video description. Thanks as always to my amazing patrons, you guys don't know how much your support means to me to be able to keep making videos and to continue to show the world that making games is for everyone. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.